Good morning, it's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself. And today we are going to do a very important video on why trying to heal, when you're constantly trying very, very hard to heal and it doesn't work, why that's happening. And how that contradicts, you know, actually going ahead and doing the work needed to do with your physical body, emotional body, um, mental body, soul work, all of that work that you actually need to do in some cases to heal. So it's really difficult because we want to try our hardest and we're told that if we try our hardest at everything in life that we can accomplish things. And yes, you need commitment. Yes, you need consistency. Yes, you need to try. Yes, you do need to do these things. However, when we are constantly trying to heal, we are in lack because we don't have health. So we're trying to attain it, we're trying to get it, realizing that we don't have it because we don't have it. So we're in, we're not in the state that actually heals us. So how do we, you know, work with those two contradictory ways to heal yourself? Because they're two different thoughts, schools of thought, right? One is be in the state of health, be healed, um, live from the end believing that you are healed and come into those vibrations so that your body can heal. And the other one is try to heal because you need to do the right things physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally to heal. And you may have blocks, whether they're physical or mental or emotional, that are preventing you from healing. So you actually need to try to do the work because it's not within your pattern and it's not something that you do. And if you're in a state of trying to heal, you're not, you're in a state of lack, so you're not living from the end. So it gets very, very confusing and I'm sure I'm not the only one who has been totally pulling out your hair confused over this and how to handle it. So if this video resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. So first, your mindset is everything. Like the state that you live in, the state of your body is everything and it is the end goal. The feeling and the state of health, well-being, happiness, joy, contentment in our body, whatever that state is that you're doing all these tactics for, whether they're physical, mental, spiritual, or emotional, that is the state that you're trying to create health, healing. It's a state. It's a state of being. So that is the end goal. The end goal is to feel good in your body, to feel it. So health isn't a thing or a prize that you get. Health is a feeling, an overall feeling in your body. And what is that feeling for you? It's maybe peace, contentment, feeling good, joy, happiness, right? We don't want to say not feeling this, not feeling that, not feeling this. That's not, that's not this state either. We're still in lack when we're in that state. The state of health is the feeling that you feel of being healthy. What is that feeling for you? Okay. So that's the state that we are trying to get in. That is the end goal. That's really, we're not trying to win a prize or like cross a marathon. We are trying to win the state, the feeling of being healthy, feeling good, period. So you're not doing any of these tactics, any of these healing modalities along the way for the sake of them, you know, or to be on a certain diet for the rest of your life or to, to be the enema queen of the world or to know everything that there is about detox. That's not the goal, right? Or to learn all about emotions and to learn that those could be other goals that you have, right? To understand trauma fully. Those could be other goals to make a schedule where you do all these different healing modalities and work. They could be other goals of yours, but that is not the end goal. That is not the end goal. The end goal is the state and the feeling of health, period. You want to feel good and feel healthy in your body. That is why you're doing all the work. The work doesn't matter. The work is just a path or a means to the end, to the goal, to the feeling, to the state. 
So that is the first thing that we must understand and we must fully take in. Okay, so remember, that's number one. Number two is that you cannot be trying to heal and be healed at the same time. That is not possible. If you're trying to heal, you're mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually telling yourself, I don't have health. I'm trying to heal, I'm in lack, and I need to get something that I don't have. When you're actually healed or healthy, you are not obsessed about trying to heal because you have it. You have the state that you're looking for, so therefore it becomes a non-issue and you don't have to try any anymore. You might It might change to like, oh, I wanna keep doing this because I wanna stay healthy. But when you have it, you're not searching for it. You're not trying to fix it. You're not trying to change it. You are not um, trying. You're not trying in any way because you have it. When you don't have it, you realize you don't have it. You know you don't have it. You feel the lack of not having it and therefore you are trying hard to get it. And sometimes you're frantically trying hard to get it. And sometimes you're infuriatingly trying hard to get it. And you're trying harder and harder and getting more frustrated and more frustrated and the symptoms are coming harder and harder. And you are more and more and more and more aware that you do not have it. So you're definitely in lack. You are not living from the state when you're trying to get the state. And when you are trying hard to get a state that you don't have, you are actually consciously and subconsciously more aware than ever that you don't have it. More aware than ever that you are coming from a different state, that you are in a state of not having it, in a state of lack. You are in the vibrational state that will never, never give it to you. The more you're aware of that, because the harder you're trying, the further away you are from having it. So that is really important to understand. That is number two. You simply cannot be trying to get it and have it at the same time. When you have it, you are living in the state of it. You are living in this end state, the end goal of the state we're all trying to attain. And when you don't have it, you're aware that you don't have it and you're trying hard to get it, which makes you even more aware that you do not have it and you are in lack and that you need something that you do not have. So you cannot be in a state of having it and trying to have it at the same time you either do or you don't. It's one or the other. So this is really important. And in that case, you might say, well, why do these healing modalities at all? Because every time I do one, I'm telling myself that I'm trying to heal, which is in a state of lack. But on the other hand, I feel I need to really do these things. So how do we, you know, how do we go about this really this huge dichotomy that seems to be in the middle of those two schools of thought. Okay, so stay with me. It is confusing, but I hope I'm going to bring you there. So number one, we already know that we are trying to achieve the state and the feeling of health. Number two, we know that we can't have that feeling of health while we are trying to get it. In fact, we're further away from it as we are trying. We're in the opposite state. Right? When you're aware of what you don't want because you feel so bad, you want the opposite. You are living in the state of what you don't want. You're living in the awareness of the thing that you don't want. Okay, so number three, what about all the physical, mental, spiritual healing modalities out there that heal people? All the success stories that we've read, they did this and it worked. They did that and it worked. These are things, techniques, strategies, um, you know, that these people implemented protocols that worked. If it worked, we want that. A certain diet to detox, to, you know, working with the inner child, possibly journaling, healing that trauma, doing fragmentation work, taking certain supplements, so all of it, right? it's a wide net, as you know, because there are so many modalities 
in physical healing, there's so many in emotional, there's so many in mental, and there's so many in spiritual. It's a wide, wide, never ending net of strategies, protocols, procedures. If we can only find that thing, then we will be healed. But just like it's never the symptom that matters, it's never the protocol that matters. The person who did the protocol, it helped them either physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally enough for them to feel healthier, for them to feel like they were doing a good job, like they were making headway, gave them enough confidence in their own mind that it was working, that they stopped trying. They stopped frantically searching for other things because they found the thing, or at least they perceived in those moments or those few weeks or whatever it was, that this was working better than anything else that they tried so far for them. So they stuck with it and they stopped trying so hard. They stopped continuing to look, continuing to look here and there, continuing to be frantic, continuing to stay in that trying frantic energy. And they settled in on something they felt was getting them closer to health. So do you see they're getting closer to the feeling of health as they're doing this chosen modality that they perceive is working? Maybe it is actually working. Maybe it's doing something magical. Or maybe it isn't working magically, but in their mind, they felt a little boost. They felt better that day. And something shifted in their mind, in their mental thinking, in their perception, and then in their feeling where they allowed themselves to feel like it would and will work. Thus, coming closer and closer to that state of health that is the goal that they need to, um, to get to and further away from the helpless, trying, franticness state of lack that they were in before they decided that this modality is the modality that would work for them. So then the question becomes, well, was it their mind? that shifted that for them closer to health? Or was it actually the modality that got them closer to health? Like which one was it? And if it was my mind, then that's what I need to do. But if it was the modality, then I need to try that modality. Then I need to keep looking because it's actually not my mind and it's the modality, right? I know that's what you're thinking because that's what I thought for years. But the thing is, you may never know whether it was actually the modality or whether it was their mindset shift and the state that they ultimately put themselves in in order to heal that was a closer to health than closer to lack. And that's what started the change. You, you and they may never actually know. And because there's so many modalities that work for everybody, you simply cannot try them all in this lifetime. You will spend your lifetime trying to heal. You will spend your lifetime in a state of lack. You will spend your whole lifetime trying to attain something that you may never stumble upon because there is more and more modalities to try that could work because they worked for someone else. But you will spend your life in lack trying in a state, the opposite state to the state you want to be in. So how do we reconcile this? So number four, we ultimately need to remember that our body is a miracle. It is amazing and it is self-healing. And if there is something wrong, your body attempts to heal it always, period. Your body is always self-healing and regenerating. Case in point, every time you get a cut, it heals. Every time you get a bruise, it heals. Every time you break a bone, it goes to work healing. So every time you have something that your body knows is wrong, the self mechanisms of healing kick in, your body is amazing. It regenerates skin cells, liver cells, organ cells, blood cells, skeleton, like you are a whole new person every 60, 90 days, you know, up to seven years, you're completely, completely brand new. Your body continues to regenerate and turn things over. It is a self healing machine. 
you have to begin to trust your body that your body wants to and is trying to heal and you don't need to find that magic thing for your body your body has got this what is getting in the way of this self healing regenerative amazing body is our mind is our state of being is our energy your energy is everything your state of being your conscious awareness is the state that you live in so like i've said before there is nobody else but you you are the only conscious awareness of your entire world and universe the state that you live the state that your consciousness is in reflects that your reality reflects that so if you are constantly and forever in a state of lack looking and searching your reality is going to reflect that no matter how badly you want it and how hard you try it doesn't matter because you're just reflecting this massive state of discomfort disconnect frustration and lack and illness that your consciousness is simply reflecting back to you it has no choice your body can't do the work to shift your consciousness it can heal what's there it can heal what's not working it can heal and regenerate all those cells and everything going on in your body but it cannot shift your conscious energy only you can do that your consciousness is your state of being right? and the end state that we're going for is health and healing but trying is a state of lack and is a state of illness and your body can heal itself anyways, but it cannot change the state. Then are you better focusing on your state or are you better focusing on something physical or emotional that can heal, quote unquote, be that thing, that supplement or that magic thing that can heal the body? Are you better off putting your time to that? Or are you better off putting your time to the state, to the end state of where you want to be. Seriously, you need to really weigh that question. It's an important question. And based on what I said, I think the answer is putting your energy to the state because your body is self-healing. It can heal and it can regenerate, but it can't change the state, only you can do that. And that's where the work is. That's maybe more important than finding the perfect protocol. So I know there's skeptics out there because I was one. And I know for all the diehard skeptics out there, you're saying, yes, 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 I'm with you so far. I believe you, I see it, I understand it. You've explained it in a way that makes me resonate with this. However, I'm skeptical. I'm holding on to this because what if, you know, I'm toxic. If I don't get rid of my toxicity, how will I ever heal? Or what if I'm sensitive to this food and if I keep eating it, I'm going to keep being sick? Or yeah, but what if I have this bacterial overgrowth or a certain virus and if I just ignore it and focus on my mindset, I never get to the issue. I never find that I have, you know, these infections or these co-infections and then I'm never able to find that herb or that supplement or that thing that actually like heals the thing and that's the thing I need. And if I, if I don't focus on that, how will I ever find it? And if I don't find it, how will I ever be healed? Right? So yes, I hear what you're saying. And yes, I think mindset's important. And yes, and yes, and yes. But I still am in resistance because I'm still holding on to that thing that like, what if it's out there and I'm going to miss it and I don't figure it out. And so I can never heal. Okay. So I hear you skeptics. I was the ultimate skeptic. I hear you. I hear you. I get it. I know you just want to find that thing. The thing that is your issue that is causing your problem, that magic thing that if you can find and you can fix, then you it is going to work for you like it worked for all those other people. You just have to find your thing. But again, my question becomes, there's so many things. There's so many things. You can spend your life trying to look for those things or you can spend your life trying to get in a state that brings you closer to healing, that gets you closer to the end state that you want to be in. And my question is, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Given that you've already tried, given that you've already done the things. I know that if you're here on this channel, you've done them. You've done the diets. You've done the supplements. You've done the body work. You've done the emotional work. You've done the journaling. You've done the 
fragmentation work. You've done the trauma work. You've done it. You've done it. And I know you're thinking, but yeah, but I'm, I'm missing something. I got to keep looking until I get it. I'm close. You feel like you're close, but you're just not there yet. And I'm asking how long have you been not there yet? That's the length of time that you've been in the state of lack. Isn't that the exact amount of time that you've been sick? Okay, so then am I saying that healing techniques are bogus and you don't need to do any of them and it really doesn't matter what you do in your world, like go ahead and eat hamburgers, do whatever you want, it really doesn't matter? No, that's absolutely not what I'm saying. So here we're gonna get into the part that you're like, oh, okay, good, this is what I wanna hear. So yes, it matters. It matters. The basics of health and healing matter. You need to dial in your health and lifestyle to be eating real healthy foods, to have a diet that is healthy. When we get caught up in the minutia, we're getting caught up in stress. We're getting caught up in a feeling of lack and, oh my God, and I'm so stressed out and you will never heal from that state. If you have a diet that you believe in and you resonate with, and you feel is good and organic and healthy. When you eat it, you feel nourished. You are getting closer to the state of health. So it's about the feeling that that diet evokes for you. The feeling of the truth of, is this a closer diet to health? And if it's a closer diet to health in your mind, if you feel like it is more healing to eat that diet than this diet, then that resonates internally with you and it's actually bringing you closer to health. You need to move and find a movement that you enjoy, your exercise, right? If you are struggling to run or to do yoga and you hate it, but you're doing it, you're, you're, and you're like, when is this over? I hate this, I hate this. You are in a state of lack. You're in the opposite state that you don't wanna be. If when you move your body or you do yoga or you go for a walk and you feel like this is helping me, this is going to help me, this is healing, for the body, I'm moving my body, I'm moving my lymph, I'm getting more flexible, I'm getting more strength, I'm getting more endurance, whatever it is that the thoughts in your mind make you feel in a state a little better because you know you're doing something that's bringing you closer to health, then you're getting closer to the state of health and healing. If you have overwhelming emotions all the time and journaling makes you feel like you're getting it out, like you're getting to the bottom of the problem, like you are uncovering things, like you're releasing. If it makes you feel closer to health and healing because of the release that you get, then it's working for you. If you're waiting for your timer to go off and you hate it, and you're journaling, it makes you feel like you're re-traumatizing yourself every single day, then you're in the opposite state that you need to be in, and that modality isn't for you. If you have a lot of trauma, right, and doing the trauma work, really makes you feel like you're changing what happened to you in the past, like you're able to let go a little more, like you're able to stop thinking about it so often that you're able to move past it or get resolution or get a closure or bring a different mindset to it, then that trauma work is absolutely necessary for you because it's bringing you closer to peace. It's bringing you closer to a state of health and healing and wellness and wholeness. If the trauma work is stressing you out and re-traumatizing you, then you are getting further away. You're becoming further away. You're becoming further traumatized. You're getting further away from health and the feeling that you want with every time you do it. So yes, you need to be doing modalities because they're the action that changes things, that changes our state. They're the action that can change our inner world and our state. These actions, these modalities, change us physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, in ways that get us closer to health because it feels, we feel like they will. And so they do. If we are convinced that we are toxic or we have a virus or bacterial overgrowth and we just cannot let that thought go, then not doing the work around that will put us in a state of stress and lack and further away from health. And when we just finally succumb and do the enemas or do the toxicity protocol or, you know, take that supplement that's going to kill off the bacteria that we may or may not have, it makes us 
feel more relief because now we're actually doing something about it. That relief, that feeling of relief, that feeling of, okay, I'm doing this. I'm doing this because this is what I believe. And the relief that it brings with you that you actually are doing and taking the protocol now brings you closer to the state of health. But if you're doing that protocol and you're thinking that the supplements are making you worse and uh, they're stressing you out and you're thinking that it's causing you harm, you're getting further away from the state of health that you require. So I hope that this is landing for you guys. I hope that you are seeing that the modalities are important because yes, you need to be doing the basics of health. And if you're eating burgers and fries every day, all day, and you switch to salads and smoothies and grass-fed meat, you are going to feel better physically, psychologically, emotionally, and you're going to shift yourself closer to the state of health because it makes you feel better that you are doing this for your body and for your health. And you feel it, not only physically, but you feel it, you feel your energy shift, right? So the things that you're doing that are making you, causing you stress and causing you to feel like you need to try and try and try, if it makes you feel good to go on the internet and watch success story after success story and it makes you feel relief and it makes you feel like trying their protocols will help you too, then try their protocols because yes, by trying them, they will help you too. That will shift you closer to the state of health because you're doing the thing that makes you feel a little better about your situation, like you're doing something. But if, no, if those stories stress you out because you've already tried it and why isn't it working for you? And oh my gosh, here's another thing that I need to try and I don't wanna try it, but maybe if I try it, it'll work. You're in lack, you're not going towards the thing that will help you get to the state that you need to be in to heal yourself. Okay, so I could go on and on with these examples, but I hope it's landing. I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Your only job is to get to the end state of the feeling of health, the feeling of feeling good in your body. So do the things, do the health protocols that make you feel that way and drop the rest. Do the activities in life that have nothing to do with health, but that give you the state of the feeling of feeling good, of feeling closer to health, right? If going out and spending time with your family or doing something, actually you, you say to yourself, gosh, I feel a little better after I did that. Then keep doing that. If you go out and you're around certain people and they make you feel worse and you feel horrible when you get home, Maybe try something different. Maybe try doing being around different people or different activities because that's not bringing you closer to the state that you wanna be in. There's something about that experience that made it worse. Your only job, your only job is to feel the feeling, is to enjoy feeling the feeling of health, of ease, of happiness, of joy, of peace. Right. of feeling good. That is your only job to feel, to feel this ease in your body, to feel this goodness. It's your only job. You want to feel the feeling. So all these protocols, all these diets, all these supplements, all these healing modalities, all these techniques that we use, we're only doing them to get us closer to the feeling of health. If they are getting you further away from the feeling of health, that feeling of ease, that feeling of contentment, feeling of peace, the feeling of happiness, the feeling of health that you need to have, then don't do them. Do the things that bring you closer to ease, to health, to the state that you are trying to attain. Those are the modalities, those are the healing protocols, those are the techniques that are helping you feel the feeling that you need to feel in order to get out of the way so that your body can do the work of actually healing you, of self-healing, right? When we get our stuck energy, this a lack, frustration, sickness, illness, um, 
anger, sadness, hopelessness, victim consciousness out of the way, and we've moved ourselves to a different consciousness, then our body can do its job of healing. And any of the protocols or techniques could literally work at that point because we've given it what it needs to actually work. Your only job is to feel the feeling, just to try to feel the feeling. If you're doing something and you are having the worst raging day, whatever you're doing is getting you farther away from the healing that you want. When you're having a better day, where your symptoms are lower, you're feeling a little bit more at ease, you're enjoying yourself a little bit more, it's just a better day, keep doing those things. Go towards the state, the feeling of health, and your body, you will get out of the way because you trying so hard is part of the problem. Trying is the state of lack. It is the state of resistance. It is the state of stress. You will not heal in this frantic state of trying, but you heal in a state of having. You already have it. You feel good about the protocols you're doing. You feel like you're on the right track. You have it. You have the protocol. You're doing the thing. You're living your life. You already have it. You don't need it so much. You're not trying so hard and you're in a state of having, acquiring, of getting it as opposed to a state of lack and not having it. Healing should not be hard work that exhausts you and tires you and makes you frustrated and angry and feel like a victim. Healing feels good. The feeling of health feels easy. It feels easy and calm and joyful and you, you don't have to try, there's nothing to do, right? It's the resistance to that feeling that we're causing all on our own by trying so hard, by fighting ourselves. You can't heal when you're in a state of fighting and trying and lack, right? Healing is easy. It's just choosing the state that feels easy, that feels good choosing it with all of our techniques and where we put our focus and what we do during the day. And that's how we get ourselves one step closer to wellness. And it may come in the guise of all these different techniques and or foods or anything, but legitimately it's coming because it feels good to you. It's easy. You're putting yourself in the state of health, which is a state of ease, which is a state of comfort, which is a state of feeling good. And that's your only job with everything that you do. Choose your states carefully, choose your activities that help create a state that you want. Choose your techniques, choose your modalities, choose your foods, choose what is going to help you get into the state of feeling like this is easy, this isn't hard work, this just is, I just have, I just am healed, I am healthy. So, if the protocols you are doing are making you feel like you're getting a great, healthy, healing lifestyle together that works for you, it's easy for you to do. It's easy for you to fit in in a day. You feel good about doing it. You feel like you're nourishing your body. You feel like you're doing good, healthy, healing things for your body. That is bringing you closer to health and healing. You know, if you're researching something you're really concerned about and you feel good about doing that, that's bringing you closer to a state of health and healing. If you're frantically searching on the internet and you're finding yourself like, oh my God, I need to try harder, or I'm, all of this protocol starts starting to feel bad, it's so much pressure. You know you are getting further away from the state, the very state that you need to be in to access healing and to be healed, right? To be healed. You will never heal in the state of frantic trying or trying too hard. That is the opposite state. So you were only ever trying to access the feeling of health and our protocols are helping us get there. This is a healthy lifestyle. We feel good about this. This is helping heal our body. We feel it resonating with us, right? Or this is just too much work. I feel exhausted by this. Then you're going in the wrong direction. You are mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausting yourself. If you feel exhausted and overwhelmed and frustrated by everything that you're focusing on and doing, then that is not, I repeat, not getting you closer to the feeling of ease and those protocols can never and will never heal you. So in the end, these techniques are only there to get us closer to our goal, which is being healed. All of the protocols that you've ever done, your only goal is not to do those protocols forever, but to let you, to hopefully that they get you to the state of health and healing. So if we can remember 
that we need to feel. Our energy needs to feel the state of health and healing and what that state feels like to be in ease, to be in comfort, to be happy. And those are the things that we need to do, whether they're focused around healing or whether they're just focused around people that we're around or activities that we can focus on in our life that bring us ease and health and healing and joy. But that's where we need to put our energy. That's where we need to put our time because ultimately being closer to that state is the state that we're looking for. And when we're in the state, we don't need to heal anymore. When we have health, we're not trying anymore. So I hope that this video has been helpful. I know it's been long, but I hope that it resonates you with you. And if it does, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. Please tell me what you think because this is it. And if you do this, if you can get to the state, to the end goal, which is health and healing, by putting yourself more and more in that state and trying hard is not gonna get you to do there because that is the state of lack, that is the state of resistance, that is the state of frustration, it is the state of illness. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you apply these lessons and I will see you in the next one.